To the Caltech class of 2020. Class of 2020. 2020. You might not be on campus, but the Institute will feel your presence for years to come. Through the problems you solved, through the questions you raised, through the conversations you shared, and the friendships you formed, you've contributed. You have contributed to Caltech's remarkable legacy of discovery. Of discovery and innovation. And so, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your creativity. For your fearlessness. For your humor. For your tenacity. And most of all. And most of all, for the extraordinary sacrifices you've made. For the extraordinary sacrifices you made for the common good. We cannot be together in person, but together. But together. But together we take great pride in all you have overcome. And all that you have achieved. Together, we celebrate the incredible journey that led each of you to this moment of accomplishment. Even as we look back at your time on campus, we also look ahead. We also look ahead. You have reached an important milestone, but the greater journey, your journey, your journey does not end here. You Caltech graduates will solve impossible problems. You will explore unknown worlds. You will transform the future with your ideas and your ingenuity. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. And we cannot wait to find out what you will discover next. My advice is have a little fun along the way. It's, it's really worked for me. So congratulations again and Godspeed. Welcome to the graduates and to the parents, family, friends, faculty, students, staff, and alumni who join me in marking this moment. As president of Caltech, I have the honor of setting the virtual stage for this innovative and powerful celebration of accomplishment, the Institute's 126th commencement exercise. In the last few months, we have weathered the coronavirus storm together. We have learned that even in separation, community can triumph. The Caltech community's commitment to discovery, to creating knowledge for the ages, and to improving people's lives today continues unabated, and we celebrate with you this shared mission. Your time at the Institute has demonstrated fearless engagement with important problems a belief in data-driven inquiry, creativity inside and outside of the classroom, and especially in this final year, resilience in the face of disruption. The entire Caltech community takes pride in your success. We congratulate you, knowing that together you will go out and change the world. It is now my pleasure to introduce David Lee Chair of the Caltech Board of Trustees. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, congratulations, graduates. Today we recognize and reflect on your efforts and success and on the support provided by your families and friends. Clearly, the disruptions this year had not been anticipated. We want to especially applaud you for your flexibility and perseverance. Together, we have achieved the major milestone on your development. Even more, we we'll honor your potential. Each one of you can make a unique imprint on the world. Each can open new pathways for explorations. And all of you have the ability and opportunity to carry forward the treasure of the scientific method. 
1974, the year I graduated from Caltech, was clouded by war and other challenges. Despite, or perhaps because of those circumstances, our commencement address focused on scientific integrity. As I look back to history and look forward to the future, I return often to the idea of scientific integrity, commitment to truth, to the vigorous and open exchanges of ideas, to the joy of discovery are essential tools, especially in turbulent times. So despite the challenges we face, I know you are amply prepared to contribute meaningfully to the world. You have learned from your faculty who define the disciplines and expand human understanding. You have learned from peers who challenged and invigorated your thinking. Your own mark on engineering, science, and the humanities, and Caltech's legacy already has begun to take shape. In this extraordinary year, you experienced the pang of separation as the community necessarily dispersed, and you responded with action. Needing your own communities back together across the miles, I forecast that the members of this year's graduating class will build deep and during bonds with one another and with the Institute. Once again, congratulations, my fellow alumni. Today marks a great achievement in the course of your life's learning. May you cherish it for the rest of your life. Now, I'm pleased to introduce additional members of the Caltech alumni community who are eager to help you realize your full potential to better the world. I congratulate you on your graduation from Caltech. At this painful moment in history, your Caltech education is a great foundation for joining with people from all walks of life in working to rebuild a much better and more equitable America and world. At Caltech, you've learned to scope out problems and think through solutions rationally. And this is a crucial basis for the difficult tasks that lie ahead of us. But in the meantime, do take time out to celebrate. You have really earned it. Graduates, I've been given one minute to give you advice. Physics Nobelist Steven Weinberg wrote a book about the early history of the universe called The First Three Minutes. It seems that the universe got a lot done in a short time. You are graduating from Caltech, and your charge is to get a lot done quickly, with purpose, because the world sorely needs your skills. Caltech, your family and teachers, expect a lot of you. With your Caltech background, you are prepared to make a difference. When I was a Caltech student, I kept the poems of T.S. Eliot close. I gathered strength from those words. He asks in one poem, do I dare disturb the universe? In a minute, there is time for decisions and revisions, which a minute will reverse. Use your minutes well, graduates. Do dare to disturb the universe. Congratulations, class of 2020. 50 years ago, in June 1970, the graduating class at Caltech would be the last that did not include undergraduate women. As a member of that entering class in the fall of 1970, one that included but 31 women, I learned this. Don't let anyone, by their words or by their actions, diminish your willingness to speak or hold you back because of who you are or who you are not. They will not know their loss and you will regret it. Not everyone has to be the leader, the Nobel laureate, or has an exclusive on being right. Remember the old adage, you were born with two ears and only one mouth. Listen thoughtfully. 
but never think your voice is not needed in this challenging world. You have drunk from the fire hose that is Caltech, learning from the most brilliant and passionate people in their fields. You came here smart, and you leave here smarter. Your Caltech degree gives you credibility in any room you enter. So if at some point you feel like an outsider without power, don't allow yourself to blend into the background because it is easier, or thinking that so long as you are true to yourself, it doesn't matter. It does matter. The world needs you and what you have to say. We are proud of you, our new fellow alumni, and we know you will do great things. Hello to everyone in the class of 2020. My name is Will Heltsley, and I graduated in 2004 with a BS in mechanical engineering and as a member of Blacker House. Many things stand out to me as the pillars of my Caltech experience, the environment, of trust and collaboration, the incredibly high standards, the amazing faculty and staff, the many traditions, just to name a few. But for me, the most important was the journey through the intense academic pressure cooker that is Caltech, supported by a network of some of the most amazing students in the, in the world, a journey that you all are completing today. Through that experience, I developed lifelong friendships with a network of brilliant and amazing people each of whom I respect for their own unique abilities and experiences. And while I learned a great deal of math, science, humanities, and engineering in my classes, the most important thing I learned was how to learn. I learned that no matter what challenge lies ahead of me, I can go back to my science and engineering background, think about the problem from first principles, and develop the tools and skills that I need to solve it. Congratulations for persevering to get to this moment, and I look forward to seeing what problems in the world you can solve now that you know how to learn. Hello graduates and congratulations. Many of you have spent the last few weeks transitioning away from Caltech the campus, but please know you'll always be part of the Caltech community. And upon your graduation, you'll be joining a new cohort of more than 24,000 global citizens who call themselves Caltech alum. I hope that as you leave Caltech, you continue to carry with you your skills in critical thinking and your deep appreciation for science, technology, engineering, and math. Because it doesn't matter if you're working at the bench, even away from the bench, and even after your time working in a lab, these skill sets are going to serve you well. It's my hope that as you continue moving through communities and throughout the society, that you'll be able to fall back on these invaluable skill sets because they're going to be so important. Your ability to engage in data-driven decision-making is going to be invaluable in you, our next generation of leaders. So with that, congratulations again, and I hope our paths cross outside of Caltech. I'm Ann Johnson, Dabney House 99. I'm Bobby Johnson, Page House 98. And congratulations, you've done something amazing. And Bobby and I thought about what we would like to tell ourselves when we were in your shoes. So here goes. Little Anne. Do what makes you happy. Live in a place that brings you joy every day. And do a job that you find fascinating. When you make decisions, make them with your heart as well as your brain. And the world outside of Caltech is pretty different. The proof doesn't stand on its own. You have to convince people of your ideas. Uh, but this is a skill you can learn and develop. And I strongly encourage you to do that. Because if you take the skill and you add it to your logic and reason and evidence, you can do really great things. Congratulations. Hi, all. Congratulations. I'm Anthony Trong. And when I was on this metaphorical stage 10 years ago, I didn't really know what I was going to do next. That experience taught me a few things. One, those friends that you've made, hold on to them. They are amazing people, some of the most amazing you'll ever meet in your life. Two, you've developed a bit of a superpower. You might not realize this, but there are not a lot of people in the world who have developed the deep technical knowledge that you have. I really like the word commencement the start of something new. And when I think about the next steps that you are taking, know that you are not alone. 
whether the friends you've made, the mentors who have guided you, or this random group of strangers that you can now call fellow Caltech alumni, we've all got your back. Congratulations again, and especially during difficult times, please don't hesitate to reach out. I really mean it. I now ask Dean Kevin M. Gomartin to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California Institute of Technology, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science and admit you to all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, please rise. Mr. President, I present these candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science at the California Institute of Technology. Zafir Abu Zamzam. Rita Oxenfeld. Thomas Dylan Alford. Margaret Audrey Anderson. Alec Vincent Andrews. Cecilia Jane Andrews. Tristan Ung. Aaron Ayers. Yvonne Badal. Andrew Bai. Roshan Singh Ball. Leonardo David Balestri. Ion Bandyopadye. Sebastian Bedoya. Vivek Baradwaj. Harsh Girishba Bundia. Alexandra Vadimovna Bedrova. Alexander Addison Bowman. Madison Taylor Brady. Jesse Kai. Philip Mackenzie Carr. Ross Charles Carter. Benjamin Cassess. Anuj Chadha. Arlindo Chan Borges. Gabriela Christina Chan. Jonathan Kaishun Chan. Sharon Chen. Timothy Chen. Victor Linus Chen. Daniel Chika. Bairuv Chidamburam. Nicholas J. Choquette. Sophia Lucille Copeland. Sarah Crusilla. Sonny Tsui. George Heros de Gullion. Sophie Dai. Noel Unyoung Davis. Samantha De Costa. Maria DeAngelis. Maximilian Fadi De Boss. Kayla Dedrick. Ramya Rajiv Deshpande. Erica Christiana Diaz. Amanda Hazel Dilmore. 
Desi Domino. Jean Ding. Stephanie Ding. Harrell Dorr. Kenny Duran. Megan Lynn Durney. David Ballantyne Elliott. David Ignacio Fager. Michelle Elizabeth Fan. Nicole Feng. Ishani Ganguli. Ian Abraham Garcia. Dana Page Gephardt. Juan Felipe Gomez. Gokul Gowry. Marcel Griffune. Karen Guo. Tanvi Gupta. Richard Thomas Hamel. Ariel Elizabeth Haas Zamudio. Dana He. Eric Emmanuel Herrera. Brendan Jackson Holloway. Sarah L. Ho. Juliet Hu. Adrian Wang. Zong Wang. Laura Gabriella Jolliffe. Rupesh Jayaram. Brett Robert Johnson. Lewis Jones. Bradley James Justice. Anant Kale. Karthik Karnik. Nivetha Karthikeyan. Carl Heinrich Christian Keck. Jake Berenson Ketchum. Yuck Young Giel. Linus Kim. Catherine Knox. David Kornfeld. Tim Krasniperov. Alex Krotz. Siddharth Corella. Maggie Michelle Lang. Alexa Renee Longe. Mei Ling Marie Lowers. Madison Lee. Thomas Leing. Alexander Thomas Lettenberger. Angela Lee. Jenny Lee. Lauren Lee. Crystal Leong. Ty Limpasuven. Nora Brooks Linzer. Tslan Ha Lu. Xiaoling Lu. Jade Livingston. Jackie Laudman. Christopher Mitchell Long. 
Alejandro Lopez. Sierra Mackenzie Lopez Alice. Tiger Chen Liu. John Bennett McKay. Morgan Innes Mandigo Stoba. Daniel Kit K. Mark. Saria Mathialigan. Sudhi Mathur. James Robert McLaughlin. Roberto Mercado. Grant Gerald Messner. Kathy Miao. Rebecca Ann Makovsky. Jace Miller. Kyunghui Min. Pranesh Kamal Mystery. Xian Mo. Antonio Monreal. Tanner Timothy Moore. Alex Christian Mararu. Sichao Mu. Karthik Nair. Maithrei Ujus Kumar Nair. Sasha Nanda. Cherish Nye. A. J. Nielsen. Andrew Ortegare. William Parker Overman. Kayla Ann Owens. Angelina Pan. Emily Pan. Michelle Park. Grace Peng. Cortland Perry. Karen Pham. Samuel Piask. Eli Pincus. Olivia Pomerank. Nikhil Hegde Poole. Harry Putterman. Hamza Raniwala. Sky Victoria Reese. Alexander Caps Reeves. Amrita Rhodes. Simon Kofoid Ritchie. Millen Sharma Robertson. Alden Beenan Rogers. Michael Klaus Ruprecht. Erica Salzman. Miranda Lee Swacky. Arnav Sharma. Maxwell Shen Molesky. Helena Shield. Wu June Shim. Serena Shippy. David Schlivko. Kapil Sinha. Tawny Sit. Yankee Song. Connor Jonathan Suhu. Carlos H. Sosa. 
George Andreas Stathopoulos. Sarah Catherine Steele. Ariel Stieber. Matt Strong. Alexandra Marie Stutt. Henry Sun. Schwentha Miriam Sun. Ray Sun. Bethany Ann Suter. Aiden Maxwell Swope. Caitlin Lee Takata. Adi Telekaturla. John Marco Hing Tironis. Joseph Tafari Tillahun. Alicia Tyrone. Miha Valencic. Tina Valencic. Akshay Vagesna. Viba Vijay Kumar. Iman Amena Wall. Eleanor Walker. Sophie Jean Walton. Allison Wang. Jessica Wang. Betty Wong. Sushan Wong. Tina S. Wang. Mackenzie Wooten. Craig Douglas Worley. Ashta Wu. Helena Wu. Alexander Friedrich Wushner. Leah Shaw. Theo Yang. Dennis Yatunin. Evan Ye. Muhammad Yunus. Evan Yu. Kevin Yu. Rona Yu. Sean Yu. Hanwen John. Rebecca Zhang. Pamela Zhang. Jim John. Eric Zhao. Michelle Zhao. Angelica Chow. Arjun Shivam Zutshi. I asked Dean Douglas C. Reese to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Science. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California Institute of Technology, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Science and admit you to all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Candidates for the degree of Master of Science, please rise. Mr. President, I present these candidates who have fulfilled all requirements for the degree of Master of Science at the California Institute of Technology. Garima Agarwal, Hamid Reza Akbari, 
Prithi Akella, Andrew James Akerson, Braden Jeremy Aller, Julie Andre, Ariana Bernaldez Ionan, Sarah Catherine Bevilacqua, Purna Chandra Jagannath Kumar Bodapati, Xenia Mary Boys, Miles Chan, Benjamin K. Chang, Amy Lynn C. Chen, Carl Ming Chen, Xu Ching Chen, Contine Michelle Gilbert Chevalier, Chang Soon Choi, Sung Hoon Choi, DM Sahangi Pulsarani Dasa Nayaka, James Christopher Deacon, Wai Ting Deng, Niyuti Katan Desai, Heng Dong, Alex Donzelli, Kali Durst, Irene Dutta, Hao Tian Fang, Michael Tianyu Fang, Jingxing Gao, Sumit Gol, Wen Gu, Zi Chen Gu, Peter Gunnarsson, Andrew David Holleran, Tanner Harms, Sho Harvey, Aaron Jessica Hightower, Benjamin L. Hoshite, Yu Ting Wang, Feng Jiang, Muhammad Musab Jelani, Omar Kamal, Sari Kerkover, Brian Lee Kiwan Kim, Axel Javier Levan, Matthew Murray Liberski, D. E. Luo, Yushin Liu, Yang Chen Luo, Ying Lu, Lin Ma, Hayden S. MacArthur, Joffrey Danielle Guillaume Magda, Sindhu Manchakanti, Nicholas Samuel McCarty, Emily Miao, Rigoberto Moncada Lopez, Elliot P. Mueller, Patricia Jewel Nance, Nicholas Howe Nelson, Alex Ogren, Karina Bianca Panda. 
Jinsu Park, Harrison Alexander Parker, Sergio Parra, John Peterson, Saturna Jean Patrick Pugnet, James Francis Reagan III, Shivum Raikundalia, Nikhil Ranganathan, Gregory David Roberts, Elam Trim Robo, Juliet Ryan Davis, Eva Scheller, Donner Thomas Scheffler, Shah Shah, Hao Tian Sheng, Sean Jia Shang Sheng, Claire Emily Elmendorf Singer, Carl Raymond Swindle, Yu Ching Tang, Jacqueline Rose Tani, Jiao Bing Tu, Ankit Verma, Fernando Joaquin Villafuerte, Tian Wang, John Stephen Weeks, Helen Wexler, Stephen Andrew Wood, Leo Wu, Yu Wu, Li Ting Xiao, Chang Hao Shu, Brian Yao, Jin Yan Yo, Sarah Sujin Zeichner, Xu Yu Zhang, Yi Zhang, Yang Lian Zhang. I ask Dean Reese to present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. You have completed the highest degree awarded by this institute by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California Institute of Technology, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and admit you to all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I commend you on your high accomplishment and welcome you to the company of scholars. Candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, please rise. For not fewer than three years of graduate residence, these candidates have made advanced studies and independent original investigations. These candidates, by passing a final oral examination and presenting the results of their research in a thesis, have satisfied the faculty that they have met all the requirements for the doctorate at the California Institute of Technology. I now ask the division chairs to introduce the recipients of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. From the Division of Biology and Biological Engineering, Professor Mayo. It is my pleasure to introduce Saeed R. Bogatirev, Griffin Daniel Chorhi, Aresh Farhadi, Zaneta V. Gugel, Mikhail Henning Hanowich Holatz, Yanish Karan Hesha, 
Robert Francis Johnson. Eric Ju. Dung Wok Kim. Seng Jun Lee. Adam Patrick Newman. Sophia Agostina Kinado. Sri Priya Ravindra Kumar. Kurt Michael Raichimir. Scott Harrison Saunders. John Warren Lindsay Thompson. Byron Yu. Dhruv Sergio Sochi. For the Division of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, Professor Dougherty. It is my pleasure to introduce Zainab Al Sehati, Eric John Alexi, Catherine Brugman, Matthew J. Chalkley, Kai Chen, Hunter Cole Davis Ozawa, Megan Marie Deegan, Sarah Del Cello, Javier Fajardo, Cheng Cheng Fan, Sean S. L. Feng, Elizabeth Lee Goldstein, Nina Xiao Gu, Nathaniel Allen Hersher, Yanil Jung, Rachel Kruger, Q Hyun Lee, Jia Ming Lee, Shinran Liu, Elizabeth Lunny, Brendan McNicholas, Ryan Ng. Nicholas James Porubsky, David Philip Schumann, Lars Joseph Schwann, Rebecca Miriam Brower Silva, Bradley Silverman, Yapeng Su. Shuai Wang, Sarah Jean Weaver, Austin Cameron Wright, Dmitry Vladimirovich Zukov. For the Division of Engineering and Applied Science, Professor Ravi Chandran. I am pleased to introduce. Yisan Abasi, Theodore Glenn Albertson, Jason Paul Almaras, Harpreet Singh Arora, Manuel Bedrosian, Joseph John Douglas Bocat. Neil Ryan Brodnick, Woodcon Jean Dogan, Wen Fei Cheng, Hyun Jun Cho, Michael Andrew Sitton, Andrea Wei 
కొలడాంచలో ఇవానా క్రైచ్యు మైకల్ విలియం స్విక్ కవిక్ సుమాంత్ దత్తాత్రి అమాడ్ డ్విక్ మైకల్ ఫ్యాంగ్ అగుస్టీన్ గ్యాబ్రియాల్ ఫెర్నాండస్ లాడో సెరీనా ఫెరారో ఎరికా ఫిగరోవా షిబర్ అంటోనియో హోకేన్ గార్జియా స్వారస్ ఇమాన్యుయల్ గార్జా థామస్ గురియే జైన్ ఎలిజబెత్ హెరమెన్ డి హ్వాంగ్ జింగ్ లిన్ హ్వాంగ్ హాంగ్ మిల్ లే క్రిస్టాఫ్ లెక్లర్ మాథ్యూ గ్రెగరి లీబోవిట్స్ లియూచి లీ యు షాన్ లెమ్ లీ లెన్ Yang Liu Ai Te Liu Shin Shen Luan Roger Luo Kimberly Ann MacDonald Ryan Scott Marshall Ryan Michael McMullen Anna Mitskovets David Reza Mittelstein J Yoon Moon Kian Trung Nguyen Tomoyuki Oniyama Kirsti Mari Peyunan Kupak Jeff Ra Heng Jiang Ren Matteo Ragiro Ronchi William Joseph Shell Yang Shan Armin Taib Thibaut Talon Melissa Midori Tanner Yuri Tokponov Andre Bietsikek Chu Ting Wang Pargon Wangwai Taya Gon Kun Nelson Javier Yans Daryl Wei Liang Yi Yang De Yoon For the Division of Geological and Planetary Sciences, Professor Gratzinger It is my pleasure to introduce Dana Anderson, Austin John Chadwick, Cody Finke, Voon Hui Lai, Ellen Leesk, Peter Eccles Martin John David Navio Brigitta Lee Rooney 
Nathaniel Thomas Stein. Yanzi Zhu. For the Division of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Jean Laurent Rosenthal. It is my pleasure to introduce Seo Young Sylvia Kim, Vadim Vadimovich Martinov, Song Chi, Alejandro Robinson Cortez. For the Division of Physics, Mathematics, and Astronomy, Professor Harrison. It's my pleasure to introduce graduates from Physics, Mathematics, and Astronomy. Thomas Callister. Yuan Chen. Aaron Chu. Tejas Makara Despande. Gina Elizabeth Dugan. Ivana Ashley Escala. Matthew David Giesler. Chen Chu Su. Jonathan Robert Hunacek. William Thornton Ireland. Joseph Kramer Iverson. Jacob Edmund Jensen. Corina Bianca Panda. Andre Kosman Pohata. Ashmeet Singh. Rachel Lauren Theos. Samaporan Tinyanot. Pooja Vadi Ferdusi. Luciana Chow Chow. Yise Yu. Yong Liang Zhang. Chengzi Zhu. I now have the honor of presenting four special prizes. The first is the Mabel Beckman Prize. Named in memory of Caltech benefactor Mabel Beckman, the prize is awarded to a female student or students in recognition of academic excellence, leadership, and service to the institute community. This year's recipients of the Mabel Beckman Prize are Sunny Tsui and Niv Karthikeyan. Sunny Tsui's leadership spans service to the community and service to her field. As president of the Caltech Y Student Executive Committee, she oversaw student programs and the Y's first tech policy trip to the Bay Area. Sunny also served as president of the Society of Women Engineers, leading mentorship initiatives such as Introduce a Girl to Engineering. She was a member of the Caltech women's water polo team and a 2019 recipient of the Donald S. Clark Memorial Prize. Sunny graduates today with a degree in electrical engineering with a minor in data science. Congratulations, Sunny. Niv Karthikeyan's commitment to equity suffuses her service and leadership. She is the co-founder of TechReach, an initiative that matches undergraduate programmers with nonprofit organizations in need of technical solutions. She also served as president of the Title IX and Equity Student Advisory Council and as a member of the Women in CMS Advisory Council. Niv is the 2019 recipient of the Rodman W. Paul Prize in History. She has completed internships with Microsoft as well as the American Civil Liberties Union. Niv graduates today with a degree in computer science and history. Congratulations, Niv.
We now move to the Frederick W. Heinrichs Jr. Memorial Award, which recognizes the seniors who, in the opinion of the undergraduate deans, made the greatest contribution to the student body during their time at Caltech. This year's recipients of the Heinrichs Award are Allison Wang and Alex Wushner. Allison Wang's contributions to the demanding and complex role of Board of Control Chair reinforce the principles of fairness and probity that animate Caltech's honor code. During her years at the Institute, Allison also endeavored to expand access to mathematics. Recognizing the role math competitions can play in helping younger students discover a love of math, she helped coordinate the Caltech Harvey Mudd math competition for hundreds of high school seniors. Allison is a 2019 recipient of the Frederick J. Ziegler Memorial Award, recognizing scholarship in pure or applied mathematics, and of the 2018 Olga Towski Todd Prize. She graduates today with a degree in mathematics. Alex Wishner's influence on student life has been wide ranging and substantial. In addition to serving as Page House President, he provided student perspective to the Caltech Board of Trustees as an advisor to the board's Student Experience Committee. Alex also served as an upper class counselor, a Title IX advocate, and a health advocate. In 2019, he received the Residential Student Life Award. Alex walked on to the Caltech baseball team in his first year and has exemplified the ideals of a scholar athlete ever since. He graduates with a degree in applied physics. Congratulations to you both. Next, it is my pleasure to present the George W. Hausner Prize. The prize is awarded to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in scholarship and in the preparation of an outstanding piece of original research. This year's recipient of the Hausner Prize is Allison Wang. Allison has completed three major research projects over the course of her undergraduate career, and her work has resulted in two publications to date. Two additional papers are in development, both drawn from Allison's contributions to a 2019 Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship project on Ramsey theory and hyperfinitness. Researchers who have worked with Allison note her uncommon conversance with abstract algebraic terms and the ambition with which she works to capitalize on her insights. She will complete a master's degree at the University of Cambridge before moving to Carnegie Mellon University to pursue doctoral studies in mathematics. Once again, congratulations, Allison. Today's final award is the Milton and Francis Clauser Doctoral Prize. Awarded by a vote of a faculty committee, the Clauser Prize is bestowed upon a student whose PhD thesis reflects extraordinary standards of quality, innovative research, and the potential for opening new avenues of human thought and endeavor. This year's Clauser Prize will be presented by the recipient's academic advisor. Thank you. I'm Frances Arnold, the Linus Pauling Professor of Chemical Engineering, Bioengineering, and Biochemistry. And it's my great pleasure to announce that this year's Clauser Prize is awarded to Kai Chen for his thesis, Expanding the Catalytic Repertoire of Heme Proteins as Carbene Transferases to Access Diverse Molecular Structures. Kai has brought to the biological world whole new chemistry that nature never previously exploited. This is chemistry useful to human beings, and in fact, invented by human chemists, but now can be performed cleanly and sustainably in living organisms. Kai helped make the first bacteria that forge carbon silicon bonds and carbon boron bonds. He then created biocatalysts that make highly strained ring structures that no human chemist has been able to make, thereby demonstrating that the biological world can learn new chemical tricks rapidly surpassed what humans have been able to do. 
Kai, it is my pleasure to tell you that you will be presented with a check in the amount of $3,000 in recognition of your outstanding contributions. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are all now graduates of the California Institute of Technology. Your parents, siblings, loved ones, friends, and teachers have all helped you along this path of adventure and accomplishment, and they too deserve our thanks and congratulations. In my remarks today, I was going to hearken back to my own college commencement, where Paris Review founder and author George Plimpton urged the seniors to go back, to refuse to graduate. Stop now, he cried. Tell them you won't go. Go back to your rooms. Unpack. Plimpton was harking to the idyllic life of a college student had removed from the world, a life where classes were programmed for you, various and for the choosing, meals were provided, guidance was freely dispensed, and the vicissitudes of life were modulated by the rhythm of the academic calendar. For graduate students, too, the ability to dive deeply into the canon and write new chapters in human knowledge is a rarefied existence largely shielded from the hurly-burly of the world. I was also going to talk about how the Caltech experience, intense and daunting as it is, provides a certain safety and comfort within the embrace of a tightly knit community. But my plans have changed. You cannot go back to your rooms, and the last quarter of your Caltech experience provided anything but safety and comfort. All our lives have been changed by the whirlwind of the coronavirus epidemic. Yet the takeaways I wish to offer you today have not changed. The world still beckons, even if it is a more complicated and daunting world. You will be entering into experiences that are enthralling and astounding in their potential. You have been prepared to take full advantage of the opportunities ahead. Like Alfred Lord Tennyson's Ode to Odysseus, strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield, your Caltech education has prepared you to keep in sight the ultimate goal. You have mastered the ability to frame problems no matter how difficult they may be. You are ready to tackle any challenge with your quantitative skills, but even more importantly, to use those skills to define new directions through distillation of the underlying principles. As Elie Wiesel emphasizes with great insistence, every question possesses a power that does not lie in the answer. You are unafraid to pose the fundamental questions. Moreover, you instantiate Caltech's honor code, you will continue to be called upon to weigh your actions in light of the need of others, in the broadest and deepest sense of community. You will successfully navigate times of stasis and times of change, hewing closely to our defining values. I know that no matter which direction your travels take, you will be prepared to find true north. In his poem, Keeping Things Whole, Poet Laureate and MacArthur Fellow Mark Strand writes with vivid and very physical imagery. When I walk, I part the air, and always the air moves in to fill the spaces where my body's been. We all have reasons for moving. I move to keep things whole. You will move through life shaped by your time here, creating new spaces for yourself and for society. You are among the privileged who can make a difference. I wish you wholeness and magic on your journey forward.